welcome to the Clary Tale and welcome to a different start to the vlogs as usual. I thought I'd uh, start the vlog in the car because then you'd have a little bit of time and uh, change it a little bit from our blue sofa. <laughs> so welcome, I hope you're all doing well. You have joined us here. We are on an adventure to Wales. Very excited. Uh, I'm just picking Simon up and then we're swapping seats and he's going to drive and we are off to Snowdon. We're staying there for two nights. We're also going to visit Port Merion while we're there. And most importantly, we are going on this fun forest adventure. <laughs> it's something that Simon has been wanting to do for ages. And we just said, let's stop talking about it and just book it. So that's exactly what we did. We're going to spend the weekend in Wales. And I'm very excited. When I mentioned that we were going on a couple of vlogs ago now, someone got in touch to say, oh, you've got to stay here. And we phoned up right away to book in this little B&B. &B. Um, I forgot what it's called but I will let you know when we get there and it is at the foot of Mount Snowdon so I'm very excited to show you our little weekend away. Come join us, let's head to Wales. <laughs> Snowden. It took about two hours in the car so it wasn't too bad and we're here now at the B&B. The B&B is called Beach Bank. Uh, I'll put the link below if you're interested because it wasn't on kind of like hotels.com and stuff. It, we had to book it directly through their website. So we're just about to check in and uh, I'll show you around the room. We are in room number two. Let's see what it's like. Oh, oh the size of the bed. This is nice. have a look at the bathroom. Oh, we've got chocolate biscuits. Oh, big, t big, big shower. They've got, uh, they've given us huge bottles of shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's a lot more modern than I thought it would be for a B and B. Should we see if there's a view? Oh, that's the way we came in, isn't it? Oh, look at the big hill. Big hill in the background. And then it looks like there's a little town down there. We might go a little for a little walk tonight. So we've just unpacked a little bit and we're going to head out for a walk and see what this town is like. So this is it, Beach Bank. This is where we're staying. Oh, so our room is that one up there, isn't it? Look at all the hills behind. Oh, we have a clear day tonight. Yeah, it looks a bit misty up there tonight. So we've got um, a train book tomorrow at 11 o'clock to go up Mount Snowdon. So I'm hoping that it's going to have a clearer view than tonight. I love the brightly coloured buildings. So that's the B&B and we're just walking down here. So we think we need to come here tomorrow to pick up the train. Here's a map. Snowdon's village. That's where we are. Lan I'm not even going to uh, <laughs> pronounce that. The sword, the blade of the giant. Oh yeah, that's behind us. Look at this. <laughs> Massive sword. How random though. Yeah. That big house on the other side. Look. Oh yeah, you can see the lights on in that house. And then look at this lake. Isn't that lovely? I bet on a sunny day that looks gorgeous. Yeah. On a clear day when you can see all the mountains. People sailing on it. Like, oh, yes, some there's boats. some boats. Oh, cute. The electric mountains here as well. So that's closed right now, so we can't explore that. But it's meant to be really good. And we've got the railway this way too. Hello. Oh my gosh, we're officially in Wales. We've got sheep. stray sheep. <laughs> oh, I hope they're oh, okay. Oh, he's limping and he's going into the road. Oh, they're looking for their friends. Oh. Oh, their friends are over there. Oh, they live. Oh, I hope they're okay. 
hopefully they'll find their way back to their field. I'll film this properly tomorrow because it's a bit dark now, it's past 8 o'clock. But this is the railway, the train that we're getting tomorrow to the top of Mount Snowden. It looks like a really nice hotel over here. We've got a Victoria Hotel. Wow. This looks great, doesn't it? We are walking back to the B&B now, so I'll pick you back up in the morning. Good morning from Wales. We've got a lovely view out the window of the hills and the lake. We're just waiting for our breakfast. So she's just dropped breakfast outside the door. What have we got? Oh, <gasps> butties! Bacon and egg butties. Oh, muffins! Muffins, some cereal bars. So that's bars. more like a continental, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of bananas. Oh, that's some amazing! Sauce. I wish she's given us some couple plates. Of plates, some orange juice. <gasps> and some yogurt. Is it Capri Sun? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, a lovely view of the mountains going into town. I'm hoping it's going to be quite clear up there today. Oh yeah, canoes. Yeah. Um, I'll show you the view over here in a second. I just thought I'd tell you what we're up to. So this morning we are heading straight to that train that I showed you last night. Um, we have pre-booked our tickets up Mount Snowden. I think you have to now because of COVID, uh, but it was £32 each. And it's a two-hour trip in total. Uh, so hopefully we should get some good views. It seems quite clear. There's a few clouds up at the top, so it might be a bit misty up there. But down here is really nice. Let me show you the lake. Very peaceful. Oh, flag flying down by the sword. Oh, yeah. Welsh flag. There is someone in the canoe over there. And we are heading this way. People in their little camper vans coming for the day, for the night. It's a beautiful car park down by the lake. Look at all the, all all the flowers. flower beds. They, it's Ooh. really well kept, isn't it? Oh, size that swan. Massive. Ah, go on. All the little canoes. This is, all, all the dog walkers. Yeah, I bet this is the place to come to walk your dog. This Look at this view. The sheep yesterday. Yeah, the sheep were over here. They must have just got out somehow. Oh, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. We couldn't quite see this yesterday in the dark. Yeah. What, this this bit here? Yeah, I wonder if it's um, slate mine or something like that. Maybe, because there is a lot of slate mining around here. Oh, it's beautiful. We need to work out which one is Snowden that we're going up. So people are parking here to get to the Snowden Mountain Railway. This is it. Oh, it's fairly busy, isn't it? We've just come into the little shop that's here. And there's the train. There's people getting on the one before ours. I'm excited. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the engine pushes it up instead of pulling it up. Oh, this, this bit here pushes it up? Yeah, that's the engine. So the engine's at the back pushing. <laughs> you see, because it here's got teeth. Oh, yeah. So it's obviously gripping as it's going up. up. I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> That's the sort of chain system. Helps drive it up the hill, obviously, but also stops it from uh, slipping back. Off he goes. So yeah, they must be every half an hour, must they? This is the temporary train. Oh. So ours is the next one. Our train is coming in. We're on. We're going to be on number twelve. Henry. <laughs> we're getting on the train. We're at the back. So you have to wear a mask when you're on this little train. Um, it's Welsh law to wear masks on public transport. And we're on. better look at the train so that's what we've been in so we have 30 minutes at the top here it's really there's no breeze it's really fresh and crisp up here oh it's so peaceful it's nice to get out it is all those hills 
so we'd like to come back and walk it yeah we just didn't really have time we've got port marion later and it takes about four out four to five hours they said and um yeah we've got an appointment in port marion tonight <laughs> yeah we have to get there between two and five so we just didn't have time but maybe another time I'd, i've said before i'd like to do some lake district peaks as well we'll just have to just one weekend just book it has just beat we're ready to get back on it's been our 30 minutes oh that was so good you have to get the same train that you go up on down that's the only way that they can guarantee that you've got a seat but you can stay up there and walk down and then we were actually in the same compartment as a couple who had walked up and they were just too tired and got the train back down and they were able to to do that i think it's just really depends on availability but there was there was another couple that stayed up there so they were able to sort of trade places we're going back to the hotel now grab something to eat and then we have got a little time slot that we have to get to port marion we've paid to get in you have to pay to get into port marion um, and our time slot is between two and five um, so we still got a little bit of time it takes about 45 minutes to drive there from here as well so we need to account for that so we just drove the 45 minutes from Snowdon to Port Marion um, Port Marion is famous for um, it was the set for The Prisoner I don't know if any of you have watched it I used to love The Prisoner when I was little my dad played, used to watch it a lot and we would come here growing up to the exhibitions that they held here I don't know if they do it anymore but all the Prisoner fans would join and go to where he used to live and all the little th places he used to go to in this TV series it was on BBC I think Patrick someone what was his name? Patrick McGowan that's it but yeah it's quite a huge unique set all the bright colors of the of the buildings all here in Wales I think it's it's got a bit of an Italian is it Italy Riviera I think the guy who built the place went and styled it on a place that he visited in Italy didn't it is there, yeah so it, it's really really pretty so it's 15 pounds each to enter we have already paid for our tickets online so I guess we just have to show it show here. here oh here's number six Oh, that's the ice cream that couple had. We just saw a couple with the, an ice cream and it looked amazing. <laughs> 2 50 Look at this, it's so beautiful. Here's a map. Prisoner shop. They keep it so well here. It's just beautiful. Basically, if you haven't seen The Prisoner, it's a, it's a TV show. When was it? About 60s? Must be the 60s. Must and be. it's about a guy who used to be an agent and he gets taken away from his job. Well, he resigns, but then because he knows too much, they take him to this little town and he can't escape and he's running around this town. So that's why you see so much of it in, the, in this series. And he's like running away on this beach right here, but this massive white balloon chases him down this beach and it's just so funny seeing it all wasn't this where the helicopter is he's he's trying to escape on a helicopter and yeah he just can never escape i have only seen episode one though so don't spoil the rest of it <laughs> yeah no spoilers i feel like it hasn't aged well i don't think it pe people would watch it these days no it's a bit about the big inflatable yes. balloon that <laughs> It scares him. Yeah, the, the big balloon that tries to stop him leaving the, the but, town. Yeah, the, the, like a sentient white balloon. And basically he's a number, everyone that lives here is a number. And the famous saying that come, that's come out of the TV series was, I am not a number. Look how beautiful and brightly coloured this is. Yeah, look. You wouldn't think you're in Wales though, no. all these colours. You can see the Italian influence. Yeah, like definitely. That. Yeah. That's where the boss lives, isn't it? Was it? Was Number he two? The, he was in the dome. Yeah. Oh, there's a little cafe here. And a gallery. 
but the actual house that the prisoner lived in we'll have to show you that it's a big pink one so that is where the prisoner is live living well forced to live you've got the giant chest so this is in an episode so if you have seen closely in my Orlando vlogs my dad has a picture of this pool and this area uh, hanging up in the villa somewhere so you might have seen that behind me when I'm vlogging over there it is just beautiful here the colours and it's just so picturesque no well some of them are hotels and we stayed in one of these uh, me mum and my dad on one of the exhibitions I think they're just self catering yeah we'll have to go up in there because um, this is where the shop is the prisoner shop number six look at the cute little anyway it's just lovely isn't it the sun's just come out at this gorgeous point as well Look at the ones right up on top of that yellow oh, building. Oh yeah! As well. Wow. I wish I could convey how beautiful this town is. Just... Everything closes around five-ish, and we just went to the cafe, and they finish at half four. So we're going to go back in about half an hour before they close. So we're going to go to the shop first before that closes, and then head back to the cafe and have our lunch here or dinner because that's where the prisoner ate his breakfast. I showed Simon the first episode just the pilot so that you could get a feel for it. <laughs> um, so yeah we're gonna go to the same place that the prisoner had his breakfast. I love the palm trees don't you? Yes, it does make you feel like you're just not in the UK no, not at, all. at all. Wow look all the way up there. There's a oh, yes. look at the lookout tower thing. There are some it's like a little gazebo isn't yeah. it? So this is the outside of his house, but in the TV show, inside is massive. Absolutely massive. And in here it's tiny. This is him, the prisoner. There he is. He was number six. 1967 to 1968. Ah, so it was the 60s. We were right. Should we go in? Hello. Hello. Hi. Like this symbol here. Loaded t-shirts. These are like his quotes. I am not a number. Be seeing you. But that's what they say to him, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he says this in the pilot. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. My life is my own. Oh, look oh. at the socks. Yeah. <laughs> but doesn't everybody wear striped t shirts or something in it? Is that why? Is that what it is? Oh, they're, they're kids' ones, aren't they? Oh, and they've all got umbrellas. Yes, they've, they've all got massive umbrellas. All you need to do is watch a pilot. I know, you, it, it literally. You got it sus, this TV show. Oh, I said about that, didn't I? The map that you get. Oh, that's the map that he gets in the show. What? Yeah. To show him where he can... The he, he asks, he goes to somewhere and asks for a map and then he opens it and it just literally says mountains. <laughs> <laughs> a beach. And he's like, well, I need a bigger map. And then he bring out a bigger one rather than yeah. zoomed out. Yes. They used to have in here the chair. That spins around because I've got oh, a picture of like me in it. Oh, no, the yeah, I'll put I'll the put rooms. it in here. Yeah, they all walk around wearing this. Very sixty. That's in the pilot as well, isn't That's it? That's right. Yes. Oh look, there's the big white ball that bounces you out before you escape. Oh, it's a, he's him in Lego. <laughs> that's so funny. That oh, that's it. So this stops stops him from escaping basically. Yeah. Scary inflatable. Yeah. Blue. Very scary. My, I'm sure my dad's got this mug. So this is the cafe. We just find a seat here and we've got this lovely view of Port Marion. So this is the menu. Simon's going to get this four cheese pizza because it's four Welsh cheese. Yeah, I was going to get the, just the, you know, the, the ham and mushroom one, but when I saw that, Welsh brie, <laughs> blue cheese. Um, Cafilli. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. So I've ordered spaghetti and Simon's got his four Welsh cheese pizza. Mm. Oh, you've got a little pizza cut as well. Yeah. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, oh look at your ice cream. Got mint chocolate chip. Yes. Looks amazing. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> look at the, the way that they sign privates <laughs> being caught in that hedge. <laughs> wow. It's just absolutely stunning. So I came back up to where we first entered to get my Mr. Whippy ice cream. Right, we've come back into this little, um, what would you call it? 
Balcony. Balcony. Miranda. <laughs> Let's not talk about Miranda's. <laughs> um, to have a view with our ice creams. So I just rang my mum and dad from where we were having our ice cream so that they could see Port Marion because they love it they're here so much. And I told them we're going to go and walk on the beach now, which is what we're about to do. And my mum said, watch out for the, for the white balloon, <laughs> we'll come and get you. So we've just walked down here and now look at the view of the beach. There's even a pool here. So this is a hotel as well. Not allowed on there now but during the exhibition you're, you, you used to be able to i think you, you would stand on with your piece and move right. with it okay <laughs> this was when i was younger i don't know if they do it anymore right should we leave this beautiful picturesque town at every single building is a gorgeous picture <laughs> it's absolutely amazing it's really quietened down now yeah and most of the people here now are the ones that are staying up on their balconies. Oh yeah, look, they're up on the windows. balcony. They're not allowed to do. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise a big <laughs> white balloon comes after them. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that guy just shouted, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, I love it now that everyone's gone. Oh, the music! That's the prisoner music. Maybe some just, maybe that's it. You think you can watch on TV? Yeah, <laughs> in your room. Yeah. Oh, here's his head. Patrick McGowan. Oh, he died in two thousand nine. That's so sad. So we've just come out of Port Marion a little bit. We're still on site, uh, but this is the castle, and this is a hotel and a restaurant. Uh, I've eaten here before. It's really, really nice. And in the prisoner, this is actually the hospital where he goes. Right, I'm getting back in the car now, so I'm going to leave you here in Port Marion and I'll pick you back up tomorrow for our last adventure here in Wales. Good morning, everyone. You've joined us on this beautiful day. Look at this scenery here. Absolutely beautiful. We've been very lucky here with the weather. We're in Betsy Coed and we are at the Zip World Forest and today we are doing the Forest Coaster which is one of the main reasons why we booked this trip. We're very excited about this. and um, It was about £30 each to do this Forest Coaster. You get to do it three times and I've booked a camera. It was about six quid for a little GoPro on your cart. So I'm hoping to get that footage in here. I'm very excited. We're a bit early uh, so we're going to go to the cafe Cafe, get a coffee and stuff and suss out this forest let me show you it already you can see that there's some sort of treetop adventure yeah, up here cool. there is zip lining here as well but we did that in Cornwall recently so we thought let's just do this forest coaster and I might check out this treetop adventure as well here's the map of what they've got oh there's a sky ride plummet so that must be what what we, we did we came in. yeah yeah we're going to the cafe now treetop nets zip lining and here's the forest coaster <laughs> cool tree hoppers oh yeah this is so cool we're actually in the forest how fun forest coaster that way cool there's the oh that's the start of the coaster or the end of it yeah oh uh, yeah, it's both. yeah look yeah. I feel like me on the this is it. So this is what we're doing. Is it the start? start yeah, it's the start yeah. and then they're going up there. And then they drag you up, yeah. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> yeah. And then someone coming down there on the corner. Oh, no, I missed that. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, cool. <laughs> so this is the tree hoppers thing. So you just go from tree to tree, really. Yeah, is it a bit like go ape, that sort of thing? Yeah, but I think this one's more for you. Yeah, kids. Look at this one, the steps. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, this little girl was so brave going across this road. Oh, was swinging. she? Yeah. Oh, it must be so much fun for kids. Yeah. So, we're going to be getting in these carts. Yeah. It's like um, the Matterhorn. <laughs> yeah, it is. Around. Bob slays. And then you go up this and it just going round and round. There's the camera. There's the, that one's oh, got a camera yeah. on it. Yeah. You're just going round and round. And then here's the brakes. The break, you can brake it yourself if you just yes. go too fast. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. Did you I see how fast just, he went? He just came flying yeah, around the corner. I just saw that. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> There's someone screaming. That's going to be me, you know. So I've pre-booked the camera and we're allowed on the forest coaster three times and it's the second time that the chip will go straight to my email address, the video, so hopefully I'll put that in this video. Um, I'm also going to take the GoPro, Simon's going to wear the chest harness and wear it on him. Um, so hopefully we should get some cool shots on this coaster. Look at this lovely view. Isn't Wales lush? That's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> Right, I'm going to put you in the car now. So, the next clip is going to be us on these coasters. I hope you enjoy. Like that. Oh my gosh, I went much faster that was nothing like it. it's a small world. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> we just had so much fun. Brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so good. I, I hope the footage is good. Yeah, I really hope the GoPro caught that and I hope the, the one we prepaid for yeah. showed how much fun it was. You were allowed on three times and my first go I was really apprehensive and I was using the brake a lot and you yeah. don't actually need to do that. No. Um, it breaks for you pretty much. The second time was the one that was filmed and then the third time I really just relaxed and just, you know, let it go. It was so much fun, definitely recommend. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to finish this vlog here with the Welsh uh, mountains behind me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our little trip to Wales and we'll see you next time for another video please like this vlog if you did subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time bye make your memories make your memories take your pictures make